And the next stage is to attach the arms. Um, we attach them to the top frame plate. It's much easier. So go ahead and get your clamps out that are left from the other package opening for these O-rings. What I start with is all of the screws all the way through just to uh, make it nice and flat on the table so you can line up the, uh, the O-rings. Okay, so there we got the through holes, the top frame plate into the, the through hole clamps. You just grab an arm, face the slot toward the center, and, and then you just rotate it. Geez, those are got lucky there, totally lined up. Now here's the trick. Uh, you push these bolts back down or you can hold on to them and run the drill. That's another way to do it. And then this one that way. So there we go. They're not tight all the way yet because we got to line everything up. Um, see, we are on number five of joining the sub-assemblies. Uh, the arms onto the body, the, the inside of this uh, motor mount to the edge of the frame plate is 20 millimeters for a 260 size quad, which what is what we're building. If you want to build a 250 size quad, um, then you align them 12 inches from the edge and you would loosen these up, move them in 8 millimeters. Um, but I'm doing a 260, so I'm just checking right now. Get the distance out to here, that's 19. So it needs to come 1 millimeter this way. And these should be lying perfectly flat um, so that they're in the same plane front to back. That's good. So now I'm going to hand tighten them the rest of the way now. So there you go. See, I got the clamps in pretty tight here. There's, you know, maybe one millimeter, half a millimeter gap at the jaws and pretty tight. And but now we're on E, we're going to add the 14 millimeter standoffs. 14 millimeter standoffs to make the frame taller. Almost to the end here to join the two frame plates together. So here we go. Now, it's important at this point to remember which motors were 1, 2, 3, 4. And I had a method. This is 1, 2, 3, 4. So I want these to come right between here. That's where the, that's where the aluminum is going to come across. So there's how everything fits in there. Now I just got to put screws in. I'm going to start with the top frame plate standoff screws. Fully attached. So the last thing is to put the landing legs and the battery plate in place. And there's a bag with all that stuff on it. In it. So we got four aluminum screws that 
M4, they come down from the top, 30 millimeter standoffs. Two more things in here. have it. Now I'll tuck these wires away after we're done programming the nays to make sure uh, I check the motors and the motor rotation. Okay, so I'm just preparing the Sunny Sky motors. Okay, so the best length of these for these screws are 8 millimeter. So these are M3 by 8 millimeter socket cap because uh, 3 millimeters is carbon fiber. Okay, there you have it. Motor's on. This is the first time I've ever put the spider ESCs through here, and it looks like it's going to be just perfect for soldering up those wires. Okay, so now I'm going to solder the motor wires to the ESC wires temporarily. Um, then I'll check the motor rotation and calibrate the ESCs in clean flight, which will be coming up. Um, and also, I uh, want to add this light to the back. Okay, I got all the motor wires soldered together here. And uh, the heat shrink, I'm not going to shrink down until I check the motor rotation. I might have to swap two wires. Uh, you do want to make sure they're covered up. When you have um, power going out to the motors, you don't want those to touch. You can fry your ESC. Now we're going to go down to clean flight and check the motor rotation. Okay, guys, I'm about to fire up clean flight.